Marco, thank you for accepting our invitation. It's such a pleasure to have you with us today. Um, so for me. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Uh, we thought we needed to hear what you have to say. Yeah, not only because of your formation, because you are a neurologist, a psychiatrist, a Jungian analyst, a researcher, a professor, in a lecture, yeah, uh, at the University of Rome, uh, can you can you tell us with your beautiful in your beautiful language how do you pronounce the university you work for? <laughs> Università di Tor Vergata. Oh, the name uh, the name derives from the fact that when they built the university that was outside uh, the center of Rome. They found a, a, the foundation of a tower with a, a road of uh, iron. It was a Roman, Roman, and so Torre, Torris Tower, Vergata, because the road, the iron road in Italian and in Latin, uh, name Verge, Verga. Verga is the name of the road, iron road. So Torre Vergata is the name. Oh, how beautiful. <laughs> okay, and you also are a guitar player who can sing yes. Chico Buarque songs. Un poquito, un poquito. Un poquito. <laughs> yeah. I felt so uh, yeah, thrilled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, yo cantavo yo, eh, eh, Juca. Tu conoces Juca? Juca fue tu ad un flagranti como un meliante. Po sambaba ben diante da janela de Maria. Ben no meio da alegria, no te viro fia, o seu lugar de prata. I don't remember. Oh, <laughs> uh, how beautiful. I liked it very much <laughs> with guitars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I play, I play also uh, via Lobos. Uh, songs, um, preludios, very good. Extraordinary composer, extraordinary. So maybe Brazilian, some other Brazilian. time. We can have uh, the pleasure to to hear you, right? Sure, sure, <laughs> sure, sure. Next time, next time. Okay. Um, so um, uh, we think to uh, uh, the purpose of our project, right? Yes. So very interesting. The, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. What did you think of it? It's very interesting. I think that is a. Perhaps uh, uh, the first time that I hear, uh, uh, that I read uh, so interesting uh, questions, because uh, uh, we are more in, in Italy, we are more uh, involved in uh, practical questions. So I think uh, how you can perform the online psychotherapy and so on. This uh, texture, this uh, intervening of uh, political, technical, and uh, uh, emotional uh, questions. Uh, for me, it's very interesting. I, I read your question, and I thought about it for many days, and very, very interesting. And I liked very much the, the name Festus, because uh, yes, Festus and uh, Aphrodite are the, the two extraordinary as a, a, a kind of sigicia, I think, uh, a kind of a fusion of animus, animus and anima, and uh, uh, very interesting, <laughs> so. Yeah, uh, we were thinking about uh, what was happening, and we got very anxious, and uh, uh, we, we, we started discussing uh, how we would uh, change uh, the the from the physical um, uh, location, yeah, uh, to this uh, internet thing, and how how we would uh, have patients online. Uh, some of us already had already done it, but then uh, for uh, for some patients, but not for all the patients. So uh, we were a little bit uh, interested. We were very interested <laughs> to know 
how people are dealing uh, with that. And then uh, when we thought of the archetype, we thought uh, of the archetype of Hephaestus uh, because of this, this characteristic that he has uh, to forge weapons and artifacts of precious jewelry for the gods. Yeah. And it's interesting because he's a lame god married to Aphrodite, uh, who is the goddess of love and beauty. beauty. Yeah? Yeah. And then we thought of this uh, relationship between functionality, charm, and power. So uh, in this perspective, we, we think that we all need to build new tools uh, to develop our practice as analysts. Uh, so our initiative was motivated by the impression that there, there is something to be forged in the face of this uh, crisis, yes, uh, by the yes. COVID pandemic. And we yes. know yes. that new Italians have gone through a very troubled experience with the coronavirus. Many people died, especially the Many elderly. People. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What can you tell us about that experience? It was a very sad experience, but we Italians are in, in, uh, in a sense, we are uh, used to the plagues, to the uh, war, to the catastrophe. So we reacted in, in uh, I think, in a sort of an uh, ancient manner, because, you know, we uh, you know that we had, uh, we are a people of 3,000 years of history, and you are very uh, proud, uh, very fond of our past. And uh, I remember as a, a, a Latin uh, uh, student that my the, the first testimonial uh, witnessing of uh, the, the Latin language was the Carmen of Fratelli Arvali, Brother Arvali, the Arvali were the priests that uh, uh, performed a, a singing every wind, every spring to uh, to enhance the the crops and this uh, in this uh, uh, very very ancient uh, song uh, we found we find uh, the first invocation to the god to preserve the people from the uh, the, the plague so uh, i if you want I, I say in latin and then in, in English, the 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 as you please the, the thing is uh, yes. And also you have the lasses. And also you have the lasses. And also you have the lasses. Neue lue rue marmer sina sincurer in pleures. That means help us, O oh, dei lari. The lari was the the gods, the little gods that uh, were the gods of the house. Help us, O oh, dei lari. Do not tell of O oh, Mars, O oh, Father Mars that the plague and the ruins fall upon many. And this is in my, uh, uh, my opinion, uh, a sort of uh, fil rouge that uh, in our history is, uh, is always present. And so the, the reaction of it, the Italians is, uh, has been very, very strong, a very uh, comp compassionate, uh, we are um, we reunited ourselves. We are very individualist, as you know. I don't know if you know the uh, the, story, the history of Italy. After the after the fall of the Roman Empire, it was a story of a, a continuous uh, uh, fighting between the, the 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 cities. We are the 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 country we um, are dominated from the uh, foreigners, and so. So you are very separate. Every ten kilometers, do you you find another city with other uh, uh, uses, with other uh, mo uh, way of, of speaking? But in this condition, we we were very very uni united. And another thing that uh, I think uh, was uh, I I found that uh, despite we are the most secularized country in the world. It was it was seem strange for you because Italy is the uh, the founder of Catholicism and the, the yeah. Christianity, you know. You know, but Italy is very perhaps for this we are not so fond of religion. We are very secularized, 
But uh, I think that uh, this fact uh, is uh, very important because uh, some elements of of the the Catholic uh, verbs are the brotherhood, the trusting, the patient, the hope have helped us a lot. We, in a, some, in a, in a sense, we we made a sort of laicist Christianity that helped us very much. But no, we are uh, hoping that thing are uh, movement uh, of new, again, beautiful, good, but we don't know. We're mm -hmm. waiting. Okay, uh, and uh, um, how how did you, in special, uh, uh, deal with this belt? Sorry, uh, with this uh, change of uh, environment of setting. So um, when you started, mm -hmm. uh, yes, for me it was not a, a very beautiful thing. I I was a. a not so because I use the 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 bed the coach. I'm I am an atypical union because I use the coach, and so I am. Uh, I don't see the my patient in the face, and he can't see me. So but it was very difficult for me to to perform the online uh, psychotherapy. I. Uh, I was forced to make it, and I, I think that we are deprived of the body signals, the nonverbal signals. And this is very uh, a lack of very important clues for us. And another thing that I noticed that it was that the privacy was uh, broken because you can see the house of the patient, and the patient can see the house of, of you. This is uh, for me a, a, a danger for the temenos in the in the um, uh, relationship, but it's also uh, something that uh, um, uh, forces us to invent new way, uh, new ways to uh, hear, uh, to listen to our patients. We are forced to. Uh, Come dire, cogliere, to uh, uh, see uh, some uh, little signals, small signals that we never uh, used to uh, to deal with, and so perhaps is a, a new technicality that is growing up. For me, it's very difficult. It was very difficult. Now I am, uh, I am uh, in some way beginning to. Uh, see the, the the positive aspects that... mm -hmm. that's where Hephaestus uh, comes yeah. right <laughs> uh, yes, yes yes with the new tools <laughs> yes this is Hephaestus uh, and the new tools and uh, naturally <clears throat> it's not easy it's not easy because uh, uh, you don't know uh, really what uh, what will happen the noises of the house, the, the, the children that uh, come. Uh, in, in the first, the first uh, uh, seat that I had with my patients, I uh, forget my guitar in, uh, in my room. So they, they knew that I was uh, performing on the guitar. And this was for me a, a, a brick of uh, the, the uh, Astinence uh, the rule, but it was very interesting because they made the dreams about uh, me as a singer, as, as a player, and we uh, worked about this. It was very interesting and uh, very um, new things about them uh, with uh, this uh, situation. I am not uh, a fan of the disclosure. You know yeah. that now there is this current uh, psychoanalytic. Uh, Thought that uh, thinks that uh, uh, the <clears throat> the psychoanalyst the must uh, share his uh, feeling with the patient. I'm not uh, in this uh, in this situation. I am an old thinker. Mm -hmm. but traditional, a, traditional. Yes, 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 yes. I am. I am very. I am 
I think in Italy, I, I don't know uh, if there is the same thing in, in Brazil. In Italy, we had uh, two fields of uh, psychoanalytic, uh, psycho uh, Jungian psychoanalyst, the, uh, the old one and the new one. I am uh, a sort of a, a bridge between old and the new because I use the coach. I, I am very, uh, uh, dire, uh, attento. I don't remember the word. Come si dice attento attentive. attentive. Attentive to yes, attentive. Attentive to the uh, the rule of the, of the state. I think so. I I am not. I repeat, I'm not a very. Uh, uh, I, I don't share anything of me with the patient. They they, they don't see me. This uh, situation, the new situation, forced me to modify. And uh, what uh, I I, saw, I, I I used to think that was a, a danger. Piano piano, yeah. Una volta is coming mm -hmm. uh, a, a new a new horizon, a new uh, a new field of investigation. So yeah, yeah. I don't I, know I what. Some, <laughs> yeah, I've had some problems with my teenagers because I asked them to use the earplugs. And then they forget the earplugs. And then I say, uh, let's remember that we have uh, to have our, our, our privacy. And then sometimes I have to go back again you know, so that they use uh, uh, yeah, the yeah, earplugs. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, Marco, do you use any kind of uh, expressive resources? No, uh, I don't use. I am not uh, involved in this. I I used the, the in the first and the first I had some some experience in some therapy, but I really don't like very much it because I think that is a a, a sort of a, a constriction of the patient. Mm -hmm. I am a, I am very very interested in dreams, so I used uh, only the dreams. Sometimes uh, uh, active imagination sometimes but i'm a, i am a listener i'm not a performer in uh, in analytic situation so i i i don't say i don't know what to say about uh, this uh, this kind of, uh, of situation i i can't okay. i can't answer to you okay uh i'm going to ask you more about the dreams but now uh, i'd like to know a little bit about the the social reality in Italy, because here in Brazil, we have undergone drastic changes like reduced earnings, unemployment, increased anxiety and distress uh, because of the prolonged confinement, difficulties in relationships between couples, parents and children, and that's it, and etc. Um, how do you think we can deal with our cultural complexes in the current reality, the same uh, with uh, the same thing in Italy. The uh, this um, this situation, the pandemic, the pandemic, uh, uh, for me, broke in an uh, unprepared world, which seemed to have forgotten the innate uh, fragility the, mm -hmm. of our being in a world. Uh, I, I remember Philippe Arier, do you know Philippe Arier was an anthropologist, yes. French anthropologist. Uh, he says that we no longer conceive the possibility of death, of the, the illness. And uh, because uh, we, we had the sort of the, the high conization of the death. Mm -hmm. And I think that this is because we, our brains are old, ancient. Our brains are uh, was selected in the Paleolithic environment, and they are very able to uh, deal uh, to the situation with a sort of uh, uh, shortcut uh, responses. So we uh, are uh, so overwhelmed by this uh, changing the this situation, this, uh, this fear that that we react in a shortcut. And so we uh, had no the the possibility to think about the uh, the, the new ways to deal. Uh, yes, 
And I think that the, the lockdown that in Italy was, I think we were the first after China to make the lockdown, that it was a very long lockdown, uh, offered us the, a, a way to, uh, to think, to, to stop, because in this globalized world, the, um, the part of Festus, the technicality was, uh, I think, so overwhelming that Afro Aphrodite is, was uh, suffering, I think. Um, but we, we had the time to, to stop, to reflect, to, to think. And so I, I think that this, I'm, I thought about uh, the, the Black Death, you know, the Black Death in, uh, in Europe uh, mm -hmm. killed uh, uh, some 30 million of, of people. And I read the, some historics that think that the Black Death was the, 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 the beginning of the Renaissance, the Renaissance, because so many people died that no one knew as to make the things, to make technical things. To, and so they developed a new way of thinking, of performing arts, of performing technicality, and this creativeness uh, sprang from the death. I think that we in Italy and uh, in the, the world, if we uh, can um, stop this reaction, shortcut reaction, the fear, the, uh, we can um, observe in, in the close future uh, a new way to, to think, to, uh, to, to feel the life. And I think the Aphrodite in, in this uh, way uh, uh, will grow, we grow. This. Um, I, I think that we are very lucky because we live in the, in the country with the beauty. And the, uh, yeah, you, you, you will come in Italy and in Rome in particular, that is the city with the beauty and the country with the beauty. And I, I, I am with Dostoevsky that uh, the beauty will save the world. So this, um, this forced stopping of our, of our life uh, permit us to make, uh, um, to have, uh, come dire, uh, uh, to, fro to have a, a more a possibility to uh, feel, to, to enjoy the, the feel, to oh, face, okay. to enjoy the, feel, the, the beauty. I, did. I think this, because the beauty is, uh, is uh, a weight, is a listen, is a silence, is a, a, a is to be overwhelmed, and I think that is a, a, a sort of a, of a key to modify our uh, so technical world. And mm -hmm. this, I I I think that uh, the American colonization, cultural colonization, as um, was the uh, something that has been to partially removed from our societies. And I think that we let in uh, Brazilian, uh, Spanish, uh, Latin American, um, we are the Theophory. Do you know what is Theophory? The, no. The, herald, the heralds, the heralds. Oh, okay. The, 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 of, of the, this uh, change. I hope so. Oh yeah, I hope so too. <laughs> Marco, um, we met, because I was reading, studying uh, one of your articles, and uh, there was an, an uh, it was a research about elderly people, elderly people's dreams, and uh, I remember I wrote you an email, and uh, you answered so kindly, and we started corresponding, and I remember that uh, when the situation in Italy. Uh, when I saw the situation in Italy, uh, I, I had just um, uh, lost my mother, and then I wrote to, and I asked, Marco, is everything okay with you? I, I, I read the news, and I'm worried, and then you told me that uh, you were okay, that the situation in Rome was a little bit better, and you were uh, writing some things, playing the guitar, yeah? <laughs> yes, yes. 
this is uh, the beauty in my life. I, uh, I permit the beauty to enter my life. I was uh, in, in the last years, I was overwhelmed by technicality. I research, teach, uh, um, tricks and so on. This, uh, this top is, uh, was a, a hill, a very profound hill of my soul. And I hope that is uh, will uh, make so the same for you too. We love Brazil in Italy. We love the Brazil. We love uh, your people. You are very sad to hear from your sufferings, but we hope. I'm I am very uh, confident that the things will change, yeah. and the Brazil will will You're return the friendly. Very yeah. Yes, the, you're a friendly people, but. Uh, uh, very, I remember when I went to um, Rio, the people was so friendly, so uh, smiling. Uh, very, very good people. Very good people. But you need to come to Bahia. Bahia uh, yes, is where I, Brazil I have, started. I, I have been. I've been in, Brazil, in Bahia. Yes, very beautiful Bahia. Very good. Uh, very good uh, food. I like. <laughs> Ah, another yeah. thing important that in this uh, in the stop uh, force of the stop uh, we I I cook very much I like to cook and the cooking is a transformation so when I cook I think about my patients about the the things that they are transforming in uh, in uh, their souls so I I perform a transformation physical transformation and it, and I think I perform and. In spiritual transformation. So many things I think will uh, help us to recover um, in this uh, bad situation. Yeah, we have been going through uh, a lot of difficulties regarding uh, the political scenario and environment. <coughs> and yeah, yes, we read. We, we read. Yes. I'd like to know how uh, how you. Uh, Italians, or uh, if you know of other countries, how is Brazil in the picture uh, abroad? Brazil? But we read um, about Bolsonaro. We don't know. We don't know him. We don't know if uh, the uh, what we say is real or is it. Uh, Uh, we don't know. Uh, we are. Uh, uh, um, very preoccupied. Very because I think that uh, that uh, is not the man that can uh, front this uh, situation. We think that is a, a, a military. We was a military. I think. No? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he, he has no no tools to help you your people, but. Mm. Uh, we are very sad. Yeah, I can't say this, but uh, we mm. think that you are a strong people. The the Brazil uh, had developed very very much in these years. Is uh, it began uh, a developed country? I think. I think. I I'm sure. Of it. And I think you have the tools, the possibilities to front uh, this uh, this bad situation. Yeah, our president uh, was used to be uh, in the military, but he has been uh, a poor politician for uh, over 30 years. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's even uh, <laughs> more terrible than you mm -hmm. can imagine. And <laughs> we have problems with Amazon. We have problems with... Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, ah, yeah, right. I, we read of the flames, the firing in yeah. Amazonia. Yes, yes. The originary peoples yeah. in yes, Amazon. Yes. So uh, it's everything, and he's a negationist. So he he doesn't accept. Uh, now we're having problems with his campaign against vaccination. Uh, can you imagine that? He, he is a, against the vaccination. <laughs> he is against. No. Yeah. Why? He's Why? saying that because he he has a, a kind of leader 
who says he's a philosopher, uh, but he is the only one who claims himself as a philosopher. And then he's against vaccination and he's uh, the guru of our government. And he says that vaccination is not compulsory. compulsory. And uh, we are uh, we, dealing we with that now. Mm. We too in Italy have a, a, a current uh, some um, no vax, no vaccination, but they are not uh, so important. They are not, they have not power, political power, but they are growing also in Italy. It's a return of the medieval, I think, medieval situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, uh, in, uh, in Jung and the younger point of view, an archetype of uh, uh, same archetypal uh, mm -hmm. situation, I think, but mm -hmm. uh, they luckily they have not, have not power in Italy. Mm. Uh, very yeah, thank God. <laughs> uh, how how have you Italians been dealing with the visible and, in, and the invisible deaths uh, of those who have been buried without their families? Uh, now in Brazil, we have passed the outrageous mark of more than 150,000 deaths in Brazil. Shame to me. It was very difficult for us. I had uh, some friends, a friend of mine uh, was uh, uh, died and was uh, buried without the, um, the presence of the, the children, uh, the, the husband, it was a terrible thing for us because we, we couldn't express our, um, our loss, our um, sufferings. But um, in Italy, we uh, had uh, in some way the possibility to speak to, uh, with this uh, patient because our nurse and our uh, doctors, me too, but I don't, don't they were very, um, uh, old manner, and they used to help the patient to speak with the phone and to see with the phone the uh, the parents or the children or the wife, and so they had this uh, terminal final uh, satisfaction. It was very very um, very uh, healing, and very uh, very good for for them. They they didn't uh, die alone, in some oh, way. Yeah, it was and very difficult. That, yeah, mm. and you had that movement uh, from the windows, like people uh, singing yeah. and playing. So <laughs> yes. beautiful. B very beautiful. <laughs> the closeness, the the participation. Uh, this is what I mean. In, I mean when I say that we are an ancient people because we are so. Uh, individualist but we had a, a, a sort of a, a network and uh, the matrix uh, i will say uh, that uh, make us uh, very proud uh, to be italian and uh, to uh, to is uh, to have some, this uh, love together we love each together we are different from the the anglo-saxon <laughs> i don't hate that anglo-saxon i i have many friends but they lack of this uh, of this situation, perhaps because they are Lutherans. I don't know. I'm very interested in religions, as you can can imagine, and I think that uh, the way we are we were um, plasmed, we are uh, molded mm -hmm. by the by Catholic Christianity is is uh, with very important negative aspects gave us some positive uh, features that are very important and very useful. And uh, now I think is the moment that uh, these features that are not uh, religious, obviously, is, uh, now we are a secular country, but uh, we have this uh, inheritance that uh, will help us uh, very much to love them. We, we bought it with themselves, uh, ourselves. It's, um, it's a good thing, very, I hope. Mm -hmm. Uh, people here in Brazil uh, at uh, Universidade de São Paulo uh, are having this research on dreams. And I, I heard Christian Bunker, I don't know if you 
uh, have heard of him. Uh, he's a psychoanalyst. And he says that people are dreaming uh, of uh, public uh, figures, public uh, people. And like the president, uh, people have been dreaming of Caetano, uh, Caetano Veloso, and Chico Buarque. And uh, he thinks that uh, this expresses uh, uh, the collective unconscious and some kind of um, uh, trying to, 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 to have the help of these people who resisted dictatorship. Yeah, not Bolsonaro, of course, but... <laughs> yes, 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 I know. No, it's a very interesting <laughs> interpretation. I agree that uh, perhaps uh, in your reality is, uh, is uh, the, uh, the the correct interpretation. Uh, in my experience and and of my colleagues, I asked them. We we uh, I I have not this uh, this kind of experience. My patient dream is a uh, dream of uh, uh, of the fears, and they and uh, perhaps uh, the the things that I noticed that the dreams of the parents the 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 old, the, the beloved one that can return from the, uh, the death. And perhaps it's the same interpretation, since, uh, some, perhaps they are aspects of a collective unconscious that are healing, that are, uh, you can uh, um, use to sustain you. I think that is the same thing. We don't, we, in Italy, we don't like very much the power figures because we are dominated for centuries from, um, by uh, foreign uh, uh, rulers, so we don't like very much the, the political figures, but uh, we like very much our parents, and so in the dreams they return to, to heal, to sustain, to, to help us. But I think that is the same interpretation possible. Oh, that's so interesting, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And uh, Marco, um, you have uh, another research on dreams of uh, yes. survivors of Auschwitz. Yes, yes, they were. They were. Um, um, we had eight hundred dreams of uh, uh, people that was uh, inmate in uh, Auschwitz camp, and uh, after thirty years. The, uh, I think there was the Wiesenthal, uh, the center of Wiesenthal, and uh, um, in, uh, they had the, the dreams that a, a doctor, a Polish doctor, um, uh, collected by this uh, and uh, these uh, people. And we, we, in collaboration with the University of São Paulo, a University of Dance, made a research about these dreams. And the, the the, the results are that obviously they are full of PTSD uh, features. So the, I, I studied the, uh, the, the part of a text and the part of a psychoanalysis. And in the text, they were full of uh, uh, words referring to PTSD post-traumatic stress disorder. They were uh, uh, the dreams in which uh, we observed a lack of protagonists. They were subject, they were passive, as they were in, uh, in, the, in the camp. After 30 years, after 30 years, they, uh, they had a normal life, the beautiful life, they married, they had children, but they in, in the, the, their uh, unconscious, the situation was fixed 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, passive, they, they dreamed about the Gestapo, they dreamed about the tortures. It was very sad. And in some, in some way, the dreams uh, resembled the dreams of depressed patients. No protagonism, no activity, no, no power on, uh, on the environment. And the other thing that uh, was very interesting, and the the, the prisoners uh, developed a sort of a cult, if you can say so, 
of the healers or the interpreters of the dreams in the in the camp the the, the, the interpreters were the figures the important figures the as the shamani yeah. some kind of shaman that interpreted the dreams uh, 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 they uh, um, gained from this they gained the cigarettes uh, food and the, the people uh, uh, was uh, trusted very much uh, the, the, this uh, uh, these tailors that had no uh, in no way they uh, had uh, an access to the future because uh, the, the the people died the people obviously uh, was uh, suffered but it was a, a very uh, healing functions very important and um, in in some kind uh, there was a, something uh, that was uh, uh, very close to the psychology of the gamer do you know that the the players the game players the hazard yeah. the, the play they uh, had a sort of confidence in a benevolent entity that is uh, upon us no and so if i make something if you my perform some ritual uh, i can have the aid the help of this benevolent uh, uh, entity and i will uh, win the, the play and the the inmates of the camp used the the, the shamanic power of this tale is interpreted is uh, so in in the same manner of the players of the hazard game and uh, this is what's very interesting and then uh, the other thing very important was the uh, with the aid of in, the interpretation it, it, they can they could uh, uh, humanize the evil because they front uh, the the absolute evil in uh, the non nonsense the demon the demoniac evil and uh, with the aid of the this interpret they could uh, gradually um, is uh, uh, smooth this uh, this terrible evil this uh, lack of a sense i think that we notice and in some of these uh, this uh, these uh, dreams uh, there were uh, loafs logging uh, uh, the pounds uh, 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 kidding that it was uh, in, in, the, in, the, in the beginning i was uh, amazed of this because in this uh, situation of terrible sufferance you could uh, laugh you could uh, kid but i think that it was a sort of a, uh, a passage from evil to uh, human uh, they were some trickster uh, aspects that, uh, that uh, for me they signaled the, the modification of the uh, the nonsense of the evil and they went to the uh, a comprehension a possibility of a share the experience is a, a it was a, a very interesting uh, analysis that we made and very very sad that they, because they were very, really in the dreams they painted the terrible situation to waiting for the punishment for the death for the, um, the Gestapo that was uh, only present in the dreams. But uh, a way, the, the modification and the, uh, uh, the birth of a hope. And this uh, is the, the very important thing that we noticed. And so I think some parallelism with the, now the situation that we have now. We Now we have, uh, uh, we deal with Pazuzu. Do you know what is Pazuzu? Is the no. demon, the demon, the demon of the plague in a Syrian, in a Syrian culture. We deal with Pazuzu, but uh, we are, for me, we are uh, uh, waiting for a new renascement. I hope. Yeah, I'm an optimistic. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but as you were telling us uh, the story. Uh, I was um, kind of uh, remembering and suffering because uh, uh, our healers, our people from the forest, they, they have been, uh, they are being decimated 
and then mm. um, in Amazon, right? And other places too. And this is, uh, yeah, this is a damage to our ancestors. Yes. So, yes, so yes. I, I feel very, very sad because of that. And we have to, to hope uh, for the best. Yeah. Yes. And, and see yes. what's going to happen next. Yes. 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 Marco, uh, we are talking to mainly to uh, Brazilian analysts. So, um, would you like to say something, uh, anything else? Uh, is there anything else you'd like to, to tell us, to, to say to us? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think <laughs> that I, I said all. <laughs> Okay. Correct. In the future, uh, if we met uh, again, uh, I will think about. Ah, oh, we would love to have you with us yes. again. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I'm thinking about the grupal aspect because I am also a group analyst. So I, I, I'm thinking about the grupal um, features perspective of this situation. We, we talk about uh, this uh, issue in the future. Okay, okay, okay. So thank you very much for being here with us. A pleasure. Okay. Uh, a real pleasure. We're going to stop uh, recording okay. now. Okay. Uh, okay. But then uh, uh, Igor and Silvio are going back. Okay. Okay. To, to say goodbye to you, to, goodbye. to thank you. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> yeah. Ciao. <laughs>